Ah, I've got a few little things on the agenda for today. I've got to fix this pull start because a rat got in there and nibbled on it. And uh, so now there's a, a knot there, but that's not going to really work. So I'm going to undo the knot and put the handle on the other end of the string but also the springs come undone inside so it doesn't spring back so I'll take that and do that later but for now I've got this it's a, a camera and what it is it's been so long since I used it the batteries are going to be dead this is like a they blimey I just realized so for the past few weeks I've like done a video every Sunday of my old camera collection so this is like a behind the scenes of setting up for that, basically. Because I've got this old camera and it's been so long since it was used. I haven't really even looked at it yet, so I don't know if they are dead. But I'm assuming the batteries that are in it are going to be well dead. So what I'm doing is I'm going to have a look. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this camera at the moment because obviously you're going to have to wait for the video to come out. This will probably be, won't be next Sunday, it probably won't be the Sunday after, probably be the Sunday after that or something. Um, but we've got a lens and everything here. But we've got this camera and uh, I've got my camera box down there. I want to see if the batteries are dead and if they are I want to see if I've got any batteries that fit it because obviously well, I want to use it and I want to see if it works because the whole idea is um, I do a, a video of the camera um, and then in another video at like some point in the summer in like a few months time I'm gonna like do a video and show all the pictures that I've taken from various cameras and um, there's people that are interested in that people have been messaging me saying can you show me the pictures that you've taken with this camera the pictures you've taken with that camera blah 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 so there's gonna be people that are interested in seeing the pictures from this camera and I'm gonna go out and take some take some pictures here and there a bit so I'm just gonna see if I've got any batteries that do fit in it right so I've just tried to test it and I think the batteries are well and truly dead because nothing happens when you press on the uh, exposure check so that's loose enough to do with my core. trying to do this with one hand is uh, a little bit tricky like a bit tricky dicky that's it I think we got it get the old thumbnail in there I can't remember what they take so I'm gonna have to have a look if I could remember what it takes I would have just looked in the box but I can't remember what they take, what it takes. So, I think they're LR44, but I'm not entirely sure if they are LR44, I can't remember. I think there's two of them and all. Yep, there's two of them. What are they? What are they? Oh, it is, oh blimey, it focused. LR44. Toshiba ones are in there. All right, so we need to look for some LR44s. This is like my box of um, miscellaneous camera bits. I've got chargers and things, wet wipes. Some of you are going to go, I don't need a wet wipe on a camera, but I use it for the outside of the camera. We've got some lenses, wide angle lens and things, cleaning cloths, memory card holders, UV filters and things, bits and bobs. We should have somewhere, also, some batteries. Uh, that's not, that's a uh, PX625A. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. Don't know what's in here. Looks like I've just got some random little batteries in here. What are they? Are they too big, I think? That's far too big, I think, just from looking at it. Looks too big to me. Ah, uh, it's so A640. That's too big, that's not going to work. So I need to try and get some LR44s. Just add a little thought. I don't think there is going to be any that f f fit. But if they're the same voltage and they fit, and they're the same size, I can use one of these maybe. But I don't think if that's going to that's be the one. But I've only got one of them. So that's not going to be very good, is it? So, I have got another little box of batteries somewhere, I think. But I don't think this is going to be any good. Them ones, they'll be too small, I would have thought. 
That's the right size and all, look at that. That's, that's perfect. Shame I ain't got two of them, because that would probably fit. Righty-o! So I've done a little bit of experimentation. Those AG12s were too, they were too slim. So, I don't know whether this one's got any charger in it. I have got a battery tester for these batteries, but it's indoors somewhere. But what I've done is I've put that AG13 that I had, the one, and the, and the other one of these LR44s that was in the camera already, and it works. So that must have some power in it. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to... I don't think I'm going to be able to, to show you. You may be able to see in there. I don't think it's going to work very well, but if I press... Oh, can you see that red light? When I press the, the um, exposure check, the red light and green light comes on. That means it's too dark because it's all the way down. But it means we've got power and it means it works. So, you know, I can go and use this camera now. This is a nice camera. I really like this camera. This is the uh, the eyepiece. It goes on there like that. But I had to take that off because I don't fit in that case with that on. Um, but yeah, they like that. I've got uh, a wide angle lens and I've got this uh, zoom lens here that goes on here. I can't remember exactly what one it is. Uh, 200mm lens at 1.35. Yeah, so this is a, this was actually a very nice lens. I do like it, but um, yeah. So at least that camera works. At least it uh, at least it turns on anyway. At least it, uh, the uh, exposure check works. So I'm going to go and get a film and put a film in it and take some pictures. And then I'm going to make the video later on. At some point I'll make the video and it will come up one Sunday. Like I said, it won't be this Sunday. Um, and it won't be next Sunday because they're both Polaroid videos. If you want to see a Polaroid video. I'm not going to tell you which Polaroid camera, um, which Polaroid cameras are on both videos, but they're both Polaroid videos, uh, cameras, uh, different different types, different years, very old, quite old. Um, so you have to wait and see if you're interested in that one. Oh, by the way, if any of you are wondering, if anyone's struggling to get batteries for old cameras, or even just batteries, mobile phone batteries, any battery you want, um, I usually use a small battery company. If you just Google search, I'll put a link in the description to this video if I can remember. Um, but it just Google small battery company and um, hopefully you'll find it. The website is very basic, but it's very good. And in their cheap battery, well not cheap, but they're not overly, and they're not overpriced batteries. Good batteries, proper makes, actual not fake batteries, good batteries. Um, and they're based in central London. Some I rang him up a few times. I, th I don't know if he's on his own or if it's like a big company. I think it's a small, very small company. I'm not sure. But the the bloke that uses on the phone is very posh, and uh, they're based in in central London. Oh god, blimey! Look at that spider! Look at that spider coming down there. Can you see that? Look at that. Hello. Hello, mate. How's it going? You all right? Yeah, I'm just. Uh... Just come down here because I want to see what's going on. Uh, it's a bit lonely up there on that roof up there where I'm come from. So I think I'll just stay, stay here hanging and uh, just watch if I show up with you. That's fine, mate. Yeah, you, you can watch. It's all right. Oh, look. You can see his little hair. He's got a hairy little body. Look. Look at that. What's up, mate? How's it going? You all right? He's just, uh, just hanging around like. And, uh, yeah. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Oh, I lost it for a minute. Where's he gone? He's gone. Oh, there he is. Come on, mate. What's going on, eh? You hanging around like having a bit of fun on a on a Saturday afternoon? Is that what it? Oh, there he is. Is that what it is? Where's it gone? I was here. Blimey. Stupid guns on there. That bloody thing. Anyway, so that's enough for that hanging around. Anyway, this small battery company, um, very good, but it's based in central London. Um, that obviously, depending where you are in the country or in the world, I don't know how to do worldwide shipping, but depending where you are in the, in the, world, in the, in the country, um, I, ordered, I ordered a battery uh, a few weeks ago. I ordered it at about 8 o'clock in the evening, and it came the next morning by the Royal Mail in the post. What's going on? How did he manage that? But he did. And uh, it's very good though, very good. Just not overpriced, nothing like that. But a small battery camera, it's good. You can get any battery you want there. Any any old camera battery, because you can't buy the old ones. You can't buy them A640s anymore, but they got them. 
Anyway, let's see if we can have a look at this pull start. Shall we in, uh, have a little look in there and see if we can get that to work? Hopefully it should be alright. Just cut that off, get that in there, put that in there. Undo that screw, take that out, put the spring in, and Bob's your uncle. Okie dokie then. Okie dokie. Let's get the show on the road, shall we, eh? Well, I reckon. Sometimes these springs in here can be a pain. And other times, they'll be alright. Everyone loves a spring, right? The tricky part is getting it back in again after you've unspringed it. That, my friend, is the tricky part. Come on, spring there, mate. How's it going? All right, are ya? Well, I managed to do it. I thought I was filming it, but when I looked up, the camera weren't even bloody recording. I must have stopped it, but there you go. All I needed was a pair of pliers, a screwdriver to hold the spring in, a bit of WD-40 to oil it up a little bit. And uh, I had to cut a bit of the string off to do that. It's a little bit floppy because I couldn't quite coil the spring enough to suck that last little bit of string in. But there's still plenty. There's still plenty of... Um, that's going to be more than enough to get it to start. I mean, you don't, you don't need all that to get it to start. So there's just not quite enough to suck that last little bit of string in there. But if you do it like that, just hang there, it won't be a problem. If the worst case scenario, and it does start to get in the way, but it won't. It's not It's not hard, you pull it out all the way, cut it off a bit more, and then eventually it will suck it all back in there. But that's not going to be a problem. That'll be alright, at least it works now. So yeah, that was fairly easy.